Now the chickens uh, decide to join us for part two. You can see them down there. Maybe they'll uh, come up on the porch. They've been staying in the woods for a while. Um, it's staying cool. It's been so hot out here. We see you. You coming on up, big boy? Come on up here. Come on. He's looking up here. He's thinking about it. Maybe we'll come on up. Uh, on to the next item. Old whiskey bottle. OFC whiskey. It's old-fashioned copper distilled whiskey. Um, at first glance, looks like a regular old whiskey bottle but take a look back here it says for medical purposes only sale or use for other purposes will cause heavy penalties to be inflicted <laughs> and um, so I'm thinking this is a pre-prohibition -pro uh, bottle or a prohibition bottle. It says uh, manufacture, whiskey manufacturer prior to September 9th, 1917. Maybe uh, this is a uh, prohibition bottle that uh, I think prohibition started in 1919. Not sure on that. Um, so maybe since this was distilled before then, it was uh, grandfathered in that. Uh, they could sell this if for medical reasons. I don't know what doctor would prescribe. Oh, go home and drink a bottle of whiskey. You'll feel better. Well, I guess you would feel better for a little bit. But uh, neat old bottle. Um, paid five dollars for it, and uh, got to do a, once again more research. I love this. This is a uh, little short sword. Not really, uh, can't find any markings on it except for this R right there. Got a uh, nice little false edge to it. This thing is really built like a tank. Nice thick uh, steel running throughout. Uh, kind of reminds me of the uh, bolo knives of uh, right around the turn of the century, U.S. bolo knives. Uh, don't know much about it. I paid uh, 65 for this. The same guy I got the guns from, so it was 65, 65, and 65. Uh, but if this doesn't uh, wind up on the wall in my man cave, uh, this will probably bring 150, 200. Uh, who knows? Uh, nice looking piece. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, here's a nice piece. A uh, little uh, brass blunderbuss. Um, once again, it's not old. Uh, probably from the 60s or 70s, I would say. It's a flintlock. Uh, love that flared barrel end on it. Uh, got a lot of weight to it. Uh, nice looking piece. Uh, you probably could fire it, but uh, I don't know if I'd want to try that. Um, it's something if it was on Pawn Stars, they'd give it to uh, Chumley to fire. Got a neat little clock here. Uh, this is not factory made. Pretty sure somebody made this uh, out in their workshop. I can just imagine uh, somebody's grandfather working out there with a little scroll saw, uh, cutting all this out of a piece of wood. It looks like somebody took a uh, alarm clock, wind up alarm clock. You see it in there and uh, just built this housing around it so pretty neat looking I might have paid a little too much for this I paid 30 uh, but uh, it just appealed to me uh, so we'll see how that goes along the same lines this is a wind up uh, dog takes a little uh, clockwork mechanism uh, just like the clock and don't know what he does he's definitely got some uh, condition issues probably doesn't still work doesn't work anymore but uh, you know maybe I'll wind him a couple times and uh, see what happens but uh, five dollars neat little piece a bag of uh, vintage matchbox cars uh, for two dollars uh, from like the 1970s uh, probably sell them in a lot. Um, should do well with these. Uh, who knows, 20 bucks. 
Uh, neat cigar box. I love the label on this. Uh, can't be many of these that survived. And uh, dated 1864. 12 bucks. Uh, you know, if this was 1864, that was uh, during uh, the Civil War. So uh, maybe there were some uh, Civil War soldiers that came by and grabbed a couple cigars before battle. Uh, but a uh, nice little piece. Not sure they, uh, not sure of uh, the uh, value of it. So uh, something to look up there. Oh, and it's got a neat, neat little uh, pull on the side too. These are something different. Uh, Distinctive name and printed Christmas cards. This is a whole book, and uh, back in the 50s, you could go and pick out a Christmas card and have your name uh, imprinted on it uh, to be sent out. Uh, so it's a whole book of like uh, salesmen's. I guess the salesmen's uh, were they kept these in the stores, but uh, card collectors. Uh, this one's from 57. Uh, some nice vintage uh, cards, and uh, we'll have to. Uh, I, don't know, I took a chance on them, five bucks a piece, and uh, I think they'll do well. Got a neat uh, Tonka truck. This is the uh, older style Tonka. Got the uh, two uh, exhausts. And the little, uh, I don't know what you call it, a thing, but a lot of times this is gone all together. This one's in really good shape. Uh, it's been played with for sure. You can see the wear on the wheels, but uh, it's been well taken care of. Um, haven't looked it up, but I paid $10 and should make some money. Got my uh, youngest son, Nathan, some uh, whole bag of army men. I was like a, uh, a dollar, so uh, that'll keep them busy the rest of the day. And uh, this is a nice quality piece, a little uh, Structo uh, toy truck, fire truck, um, missing, I guess it had ladders on the side, or maybe hoses, but uh, in really good shape, um, paid $10 for that, uh, should do good with that. Uh, got a, you wouldn't call this a porthole. Uh, it's to a boat. I guess it's a hatch. It's almost got a deco look to it. I love the uh, the lines, the way they did the lines coming across there. It's probably from the, I bet it's from the 30s, maybe 20s. But uh, the ring there screwed on to the, uh, to the boat. It doesn't look big enough to crawl through. Um, I don't know. I don't see any part for a latch. But a uh, really nice, nice piece, unusual, paid 50 for this, and uh, I think I'd get, uh, get 150 or 200 for this. Uh, nice little piece. And I sold two horse heads and uh, found another one. And uh, this one is, uh, this one's big and it's heavy, but it's, uh, it's a nice quality piece, been around a while. Always got to be careful of uh, reproductions, new stuff on these. Uh, this one got a uh, free uh, wasp nest up inside there. But uh, that would go over top of a pole, uh, bolt it on there, and uh, have something to tie your horse to. So I just sold the others for $111 a piece. This is a lot bigger. Um, I think I might put uh, 200 on this. I paid uh, 50, 55, something like that for it. So uh, let's see how that goes. I'm gonna leave it nice and dirty. So there we go. There's my uh, there's my finds uh, for the day. And uh, keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99, on eBay to uh, eventually, if I can find some time to uh, get this stuff listed, uh, most of it will go on there. So until uh, until next time, this is uh, Will the Yard Sale Survivalist, and uh, we'll talk to you next week.